All right, what we have is HBO Go on the Roku box. It was just launched today, and it's the first set-top box um, that HBO Go is on, with the exception of Google TV, which in my mind doesn't really count since it's since Google TV was just basically showing a browser on your TV. This is an actual um, you know, set-top box connected to your television that will stream HBO Go video straight to your TV. So instead of watching on your computer or on your uh, iPad or iPhone, you can actually experience HBO Go on demand through your te television uh, just like Netflix. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to go ahead and select HBO Go. And while we're waiting for this to load, HBO Go, it seems uh, that they're uh, that they're also working on getting this on the Xbox 360 and also the PlayStation 3. Uh, but for now, Roku is the first out of the gate in terms of set top box, and so um, you're gonna have to pardon the uh, resolution because this is I am viewing this on an SD television, not an HD television, so it's not gonna look. As, good, as great as if it was a big flat screen TV, but hopefully you'll be able to get the, point, uh, get the gist of what HBO Go on the Roku box is like. So um, the first screen that comes up is, if, you're, if you've ever used Roku, it's very familiar. Um, it has a very familiar layout to the Netflix app where you have different grids of content summaries and they're all grouped by rows, uh, the very first row is the feature row. So you can see the stuff that uh, is featured on HBO Go. Uh, the second one is your own personal watch list where you can actually select uh, programming, uh, probably stuff that I picked when I was on HBO Go and put on my watch list. It shows up right here on your watch list. Probably similar to like the Netflix Instant Cube. The third row is movies, and it doesn't actually show you actual movies, but it instead shows you um, different genres of movies. You can probably click select one of these genres and drill in and see what uh, uh, is in each of those genres. And then they also have a featured movies row, again, similar to featured, but it's specifically going to be movies that they're featuring, uh, probably latest release movies. Uh, series is pretty self-explanatory. Probably going to feature all of our, you know, top series. But then there's a way of drilling down, probably seeing all the different series available, uh, and then some more uh, specific so sort of genres, such as family stuff, comedy, sports, documentaries, the all-important late night, and uh, another interesting row called collections, which I guess is probably different uh, programming grouped by some sort of uh, common theme. And then lastly, there seems to be a search, the ability to search. I'm just going to select in there. It looks very similar to different uh, to the general Roku search uh, functionality that you have on Netflix. But let's not go into the search now. I'm going to get out of here. Uh, and then there's the settings. So is it kind of interesting that the search is the last item on Netflix? The search is actually the second row. Um, so it seems like HBO Go is is uh, is is um, emphasizing featured content, whereas Netflix um, kind of puts the search out more in front. So let's go ahead and select one of these featured contents. Uh, let's pick the uh, let's pick Hong. So again, this is pretty pretty general sort of Roku uh, navigation. Uh, you have the play here. There's an additional play preview, so you can play the promo. Um, remove from watch list extras and credits. It's a little description about the episode. 
runtime, year, rating, director. This is pretty similar to the kind of information that Netflix is providing. Um, so it's probably, uh, or, or maybe it's the Roku box that is actually um, uh, uh, sort of specifying this kind of format. Go ahead and play. And so, this is actually a wired connection. It's not over Wi Fi, it's using Ethernet, so we should have a pretty good signal. And there you have it. You're watching HBO Go on your TV through uh, streaming. Alright, I'm not going to show too much of this, kind of get the point. So the, uh, so some people on Roku, uh, some of the message forums have asked, well, what's the point? Because you do, you can only access HBO Go on Roku if you are a subscriber of HBO and you're, uh, and your cable company is also participating in the HBO Go program, um, as well as uh, as well as the Roku platform too. Um, so some of the people on the Roku forums have been wondering what's the point, um, because I guess they had, sort of had the expectation that they were going to just be able to subscribe to HBO directly. Uh, but you know, it's really HBO's uh, position that the HBO Go product really is an added. Uh, added service, added benefit to their subscribers. Um, so really it's meant uh, to, uh, to retain subscribers through added value um, functionality such as the HBO Go product. And, and so that's really what its purpose is and it looks great. And uh, the other thing too I guess that HBO Go has above and beyond just your traditional cable on demand is apparently there's a lot more content on HBO Go than you could ever find on on HBO on demand um, that you could find. Let's, well, let's go take a look at the series to see what's on there. Uh, supposedly, all of HBO's series are on is on HBO Go, um, so that you'd be able to um, you'd be able to view just about anything in the back catalog. We got Deadwood. Uh, curb, got new stuff like Enlightened, Play of the Concords, new stuff Game of Thrones, Oz, we got Sex in the City, Six Feet Under, all the good stuff here, Sopranos, The Wire. I just want to check out Sex in the City because just curious to see since Sex in the City was was not originally in a HD just want to see what the actual format looks like for this guy let's go to season one and let's, I guess it doesn't really matter what episode we watch it should all be in SD content Let's take a look at it. Nice HBO Go Splash. Yeah, and there you have SD, it's full screen on the SD. Four by three. A little bit of weird pixelation there. All right, and I think 
I didn't I didn't really uh, look for it when we were watching that hung episode, but I'm pretty sure that it was probably um, that it was probably uh, Letterbox because hung is a uh, Hung is originally HD, so if you were watching on a flat screen, you would have seen uh, Hung in full frame, and you would have seen Sex and the City with pillar bars. That's just... yeah. So we got the letterbox. All right, well that's a quick tour of HBO Go on the Roku box. Uh, I can't wait to uh, sit down and watch more of this content on here. And uh, just like people with Netflix who have been binging on Lost, with your HBO Go on the Roku, you'll be able to binge on um, any of your favorite uh, HBO shows that you've been waiting to watch in their entirety. Um, you can just spend all night catching up and watching all these shows. Have fun!